Hey everyone, Presito here, your second favorite Uniswap app. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering Starpunk, which I think has insane potential. It's basically a gaming uh, launchpad as well. And you know how the past uh, gaming launchpads have performed. For example, GameFi did 70x. And this one is also really hyped. It has a similar idea and uh, maybe even a bit more to it, which is extremely bullish, of course. Just a quick look at their Telegram, 43,000 subscribers, which is proud, of course. And they just announced their IEOs. One is going to be on Gate.io, which of course is really good. And the other one's on Dowmaker, which is obviously just pro because, you know, Dowmaker is the top IDO these days, the IDO platform rather. And uh, all the projects launching on here have been performing insanely well. As you can see, the Starpunk. 111k total seed raise on Dowmaker. Per winning ticket will be 150 BUSD. So the launch pads that's going on are really, really pro. And um, this is really bullish for the project, of course. Dowmaker ones, uh, you can rest assured they're going to perform well, you know, 90% of the time. What's also really good is that they've already announced their first project that they're going to have as a sale on their platform and that's heroes and empires which is a really good project i'm going to be covering that in the coming days you can see i've got it here on my list uh, that's also going to be on Dowmaker on the 4th of october and it's going to be on starpunk so it's really really cool that they've already got a project that's up and coming and it's actually going to be really soon so you know some of these projects uh, will launch and then their first ieos and few months once they get everything up and running but it seems like they already got everything starting up so that's really really good for starpunk so let's see a bit more uh, detail of what starpunk is all about nft gaming platform so it's a blockchain gaming monetization out of the box so it's a decentralized incubator uh, they empower game developers investors and players together to build via a blockchain based economy it's going to be for game developers, NFT artists, and Metaverse users. So how are they going to do their uh, process of uh, listing? So you have to register the game or studio developer via the registration form. The project, uh, well, they do their due diligence on the project, of course. Consult and development. And then it goes on the start pad, obviously, if it uh, goes through all their approvals. So obviously it's going to be for new games, as you can see here. It's also going to have its own NFT marketplace where projects can easily implement their SDK and upload their assets and uh, through their back office interface, which I think is really cool for up and coming projects. Then it's going to have, a, as I said, the NFT platform is going to be an all-in-one NFT sale platform. Fixed price, Dutch auction, English auction, all custom price range models are possible with their white label NFT shop module. So teams can host their own branded offerings on the back of their technology and then further utilize their white label marketplace for secondary trading. So what's that token going to be used for? It's going to be the SRP token, and that's going to offer loyalty, discount and access incentives to the Starpunk ecosystem. So SRP tokens can be used to pay a discounted fee on the NFT market. Holders will gain access to exclusive token offerings. Of course, that is most likely the main incentive of holding the token to get into their uh, pre-sales which i'm sure will perform well considering starpunk uh, is on downmaker and the next project that's going to be on starpunk is also on downmaker loyalty so some features of the ecosystem will only be for token holders so that's something to keep in mind also what's really cool is that they're multi-chain straight from the beginning some of the projects promise to be uh, multi-chain in the future and then eventually they might do it Maybe they don't, but from the beginning, they're going to be on BNB, Ethereum, and Matic. So that's already pro. What's also pro is all their backers. You can see a Dowmaker, X21, Magnus Capital, Gate.io. I mean, I can almost read all of these. Really pro backers. So that's obviously always reassuring. In terms of their core team, you can see the CEO, CTO, CMO, uh, Vietnamese team, like most of the gaming projects are these days and uh, so that's obviously also really good 
Now let's have a look at the dial pad by dial maker. This is really uh, good what uh, they have that you can go through and see everything. Initial market cap of Starpunk is 700k, which is really small. Tons of room for growth. In terms of the comparison between other uh, launch pads similar to them, there's obviously Game Starter, Game Five. Uh, I'm personally very bullish on Game Five. There's uh, Kickstarter. It shows you what they have that the others don't. Which, uh, for example, uh, loot boxes as a service, game developer support, uh, staking as a service, where a lot of these don't have have that. So that's all a really good sign in terms of their revenue. How's uh, Starpunk going to make their profits? So that's going to be through Launchpad commissions. So it's a cut of the Launchpad funds. Then SAAS, which is where developers pay uh, X amount per month for Starpunk to maintain and run the NFT marketplace. And then trading fees. So that's obviously the transaction fees uh, and trading fees. So now let's have a look at their tokenomics, which uh, obviously is always a very important part. As I said, initial market caps, only 700K, tons of room for growth. What I also really like is that they have just the two rounds, private and public. So it's nothing crazy, you know, angel seed, <laughs> all these things. It's just the private and public, of which uh, private's 10% on TGE, then a three-month cliff, and then vesting for 15 months, which is really a huge lock. Um, the, a lot of projects are doing that these days where there's a three month cliff after the TGE, which is interesting because it incentivizes the first 10% uh, for, for people to hold that because they know they're not going to get tokens for three months. So it's an interesting concept. Um, the price is 2.3 cents, same as the public sale, 2.3 cents, except the uh, public sale get uh, a lot more on TGE. I mean, 23% more. So public's got a really good deal. If you can get in that, then it's worth it. Obviously, it's much harder to get in. Not a lot of allocation. 40,000 on gate and 110,000 on DAO pad. So, well, whereas the private round has 1.8 million. So, if you can get in the public sale, then congrats in advance. I mean, that's a really good deal you're getting there. So, overall, I must say, uh, Starpunk has to be Chos Pro. You know, the hype of uh, gaming hype and uh, metaverse and all these things. Is even more when you have a launch pad launching these type of projects during the hype so i think this one will perform very well definitely want to keep an eye on see what their tiers are going to be and how that's going to work allocation for how much tokens you hold that'll be interesting to see and then uh, based on that you obviously can determine if it's a worthwhile investment or not but that wraps up my video on starpunk hopefully you guys learned something and enjoyed the video as usual leave a like comment subscribe always appreciate that join the starpunk channels um, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.